Okay, so today we are going to be setting up our binders. So a few things that you are going to need is your cover page, um, pens, pencils, highlighters, whiteout. Um, remember, you can't do your homework in pen, but if you make a mistake while taking notes, like I will, I'm sure, uh, you'll want that. A large paper clip, which are over in the um, toolbox over in the side of the room. Some lined paper and some blank printer paper. Make sure that you hole punch the printer paper. Uh, I've got a zipper pouch to put um, my pens, pencils, uh, the white out, maybe a ruler and your calculator um, for that. Then um, the unit zero materials. The stuff that we got the first day, so your clock groups, your free tardy pass sheet, your syllabus, and your retake sheet. Obviously, your binder, and then the tabs, which you should have picked up today. Also, make sure that you three-hole punch those. Then also, um, some washi tape, which I have uh, if you'd like some. Okay, so let's get started. First thing that we are going to do is we are going to put our cover inside our clear front. If you do not have a front like this, either you can tape it to the front or um, you can three-hole punch it and put it in your binder. Okay, so next thing that we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and label um, our pouches. I did recommend that you got one with two uh, pouches on in your binder, but if you don't have one, that's okay. Um, I'm not going to label the ones in the back, so you can just put one in the front and one in the back, depending on what you would like. So, um, I'm going to label this top one the homework. for the unit. So that is the unit that we are currently working on or that you're currently working on. So I'm going to put my unit zero materials all right in that pouch. Sorry. Then the bottom one is two Turn in. So once you are done with an assignment, um, you'll stick it in there because um, you won't actually turn in all of your stuff until you're done with everything for the unit. So um, once it's done, just throw it in that pocket instead of the top pocket. Okay. Then we will go ahead and put our big paper clip. I'm going to stick mine right here, but if you'd like to put yours in your zipper pouch instead, that is fine. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in the tabs. So, um, the current unit material should go first. Then your important materials tab. Your vocab, words, definitions, symbols, and formulas should go after that. And then you should have all your units in order from zero through nine after that. So that was the order that they were printed in. So as long as you didn't change up the order, that should already be set for you. Okay. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and turn to the important materials tab. So each one of your tabs are going to say this is where you will keep um, your materials for unit zero, unit one, whatever it happens to be. This is where our important materials are going to go for the entire course. Um, and make sure that you number everything. So that meaning that you're going to kind of give it a page number. So syllabus, I'm actually going to unstaple this. Make sure that you throw those staples away. I don't want them all over the floor. One, because you should have given me this sheet already, so we won't have that. But this is a separate sheet on our list here. So I'm going to go ahead and label this. So this is number one. So I'm going to put my numbers up here in the top corner. You can put them down in the bottom corner if you would like or wherever it would happen to be. So as soon as I label that, I'm also going to put that right here. So that is page number one. Okay, stick that in here. I'll put those all in there in a second. Then our test retake policy. That's this right here. So that is number two. The technology policy was actually on the back of that sheet that you turned in to me, so you won't actually have this. Um, so all that I want you to do is either put um, turned in or an X through that. So then your clock groups will go after that. So this is number three. Then your tips for taking notes. And this is also your remind. So I'm going to um, put that and remind. So that's page number four. And then your pass sheet will be number five. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and actually put those in here. Again, make sure that you're labeling everything as you go through. Um, and we won't put stuff into a tab until we're completely done with the unit. Um, so you'll have to watch another video on that. But then the next thing is um, this next tab, which is the vocab words, definition, symbols, and formulas. So that is where um, we will put uh, these line sheets of paper and our blank sheets of paper. So I'm not going to put all of mine in there because I kind of grabbed a lot. So I'm just going to put a few pages in. And then I am just going to put the rest in the back. So I'll put the blank up and um, if you didn't have the two tabs, uh, you just don't need this much paper. I'm just put it in here. Okay. So the current unit materials, you will put your notes in there for the current unit that you are working on, as well as that's where you can also put your um, menu for uh, the unit that you are working on. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my zipper pouch in. And 
I'm going to put all of my tape, all my pens, pencil, highlighter, all in there. And there we go. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything that I can help you with.